Today we're getting ready to talk to Justin Rader, getting ready to fight Ricardo Ramos, come up here on Legacy Fight Championships 41 card uh, with the main event of uh, Anthony Nugujuwani and Johnny Carson. Um, Call me an event. Uh, you're only 3-0. and This is, I mean, there's guys on the card that, you know, below you that are 13-4, and uh, you know, got some stiff records. You know, Johnny Carson is fighting in the main event as 11-6 and and Anthony 16-10. and You're 3-0 and and your opponent's 6-0. Like this is this is a pretty big step up for a guy that's only three and zero in the sport. What was the conversation like with with Mick Maynard or, or, or Colin, whoever called you first, and said, "Hey, we're going to bring you the co-main event, even though you're just three and zero." Yeah, you know, uh, I was really excited to to take this fight. Uh, this is a big step up for me. Uh, most of the opponents that I have been fighting uh, have been zero zero and one and zero, uh, and I've done really well. And I was looking for a step up. In fact, I told. Uh, my coaches, uh, Mark Beecher and Rafael Lovato Jr., that, uh, you know, I felt, you know, good in there. I felt comfortable in there finally. And, you know, I was looking for the next uh, step up. Uh, so, yeah, the guy I'm fighting is uh, six and zero. And, uh, you know, like like uh, uh, Colin, I guess, uh, uh, sent over, uh, like, you know, asked my coaches what, what we thought about this guy. And, uh, you know, so they let me look at him. I asked them what they thought. I said I was day. Uh, uh, sorry, I said I was down. That uh, I'm for sure game, 100%. Uh, this looks, it looked like the perfect step up for me. Uh, we feel that we uh, that I match up really well with him, and so I said, yeah, let's do it. What What is training with Mark Beecher like? I know Mark a long time, and, and we trained next to each other. We worked out at the same time, but I've never actually had him as a coach. What is he like as a coach? He seems pretty intense as a as a competitor when he was competing, but how is he as a coach? Yeah, you know, he, he keeps that same kind of style and intensity as a coach, which, uh, we, you know, like when, when he came back last year uh, uh, to our academy, he actually, uh, you know, started his martial arts journey with us like, uh, gosh, almost 17 years ago. Yeah. And uh, uh, I remember I was like a little kid. I was like 12 years old as a white belt and uh, watching him train and train MMA with our guys out here. And uh, I always imagined myself maybe one day doing that. And uh, we, we have the same kind of mentality and intensity and style in that way. So it was just like a perfect match. Uh, you know, he, he came back and, and he's now running the Muay Thai program out here at Lovato School of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Mixed Martial Arts. And uh, it, was, it was just a perfect fit. Uh, he's been an excellent teacher. He's taking my stand-up striking game uh, to a whole new level exactly where it needs to be, uh, which is exactly what I needed. You know, I, I wrestled for most of my life. Uh, I did Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for most of my life. Uh, but the striking is something that, you know, I, I really started working on a lot more in 2013. And, uh, and then, of course, in 2014, when I started fighting, I had three fights in 2014. And yeah. uh, he came back and was there for like a week, the last week of my uh, camp for my first fight, and then trained me a whole six week uh, camp for my next two fights. And I just feel I get better and better every day. There are. Uh, um... Does Beecher still, does he strap up sometimes and go in there and, and go live with you still? Is he still in there trying to whack you around? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, a lot of times we'll go in and, uh, you know, like we, we, we like to go and start, you know, kind of like, you know, we do like leading up for a fight and on fight day. So we kind of warm up. We hit some really hard pads. And then, uh, yeah, on the days that I need sparring, uh, he'll still strap up the gloves and uh, get in there with me and uh, teach me that way as well. <laughs> and so it's kind of on-the-job learning, but it's a blast. I love it. There, uh, um, when you go with, with Mark, is, it, is there a serious, like you go, okay, this round, I've got to be completely on. I've got to be totally focused. Otherwise, I'm going to get hurt. Or is it a round that sometimes, like as a coach now, because he's, he's changed, he's got a different hat not, on now. He's not a competitor anymore as a coach. Does he come in there and go, okay, He'll crack you a little bit and go, hey, look, you got to keep your right up. He'll crack you again and go, no, you got to check that kick. Is he, is he coaching you as he's hitting you, or is he just still in that, that, that fighter's mentality mode where he's trying to hurt, not trying to hurt you, but he's trying to hurt you every time? Yeah. No, he, he puts punches in there, uh, but he's never actually, like, you know, rocked me, or he's not trying to knock me out while he's in there. And, yeah, he will coach me. Like, uh, one day he, he threw a kick, and he placed it right on my shoulder. And, you know, we both kind of looked at each other for a moment like, yep, that would have uh, that would have been a knockout. And he goes, you know, so here you got to be here, you know, look for this. He was like, you know, watch my hips, watch yeah. my hips. So I was like, OK, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love when it comes together like that. Let's, let's talk about Lovato Jr. Like, how is it training out with him as a jiu-jitsu guy? Like, it's it's I've heard. I mean, there's stories upon stories about, you know, 
him competing and, and how things went. But how is he as, as, a, as a coach, as a jiu-jitsu coach? And you've been with him for a long time, so you've gone through even his his progression as a coach. You've gone through that that where his learning and development as a coach has, has kind of gotten better as well. Like how is he now as a as a as a coach? You know, many people may not know, and I've you know, seen him coach other guys in MMA. And of course, yeah, I've been around him, you know, for years. When I started with him, he was like only a blue, maybe just a newly, uh, new purple belt when I started training with him at, you know, age 12 years old. So yeah, we kind of came up together. Uh, I had a great, you know, career in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, you know, a lot, we won a lot of like big titles on the same day. But, you know, I've, I've been saying it for a long time. You know, he's been coaching me, you know, primarily my entire time here. And uh, he's evolved so much as a coach, but I've been saying it for a long time. I think people really underestimate how well he understands the mixed martial arts game and how well he can use and put his jujitsu uh, into a mixed martial arts game. And, and as well as being uh, a coach, like, you know, uh, uh, the, the technical work we've been doing for this camp, uh, I really believe that, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've hit a whole new level using my jiu-jitsu for MMA because it's truly different, uh, you know, like sports jiu-jitsu and the way it is now and some of the rules out there and yeah. the way that it kind of favors the guy on bottom and you can kind of hang out on your back. Oh, you can't pass my guard. I'm going to win. Well, buddy, you can't do that in MMA. You know, it's it's a whole entire different game when they start throwing punches and, uh, you know, he's he really does have a really good understanding uh, of the game and what's happening there. And uh, I really feel like things are coming together. He's an absolutely outstanding coach. Uh, and at, at times, I really don't think he gives himself enough credit uh, as how good a coach he is uh, uh, for MMA and, and using my jiu-jitsu and my strengths uh, as they are for MMA as well. Is he going to be in your corner in uh, Tulsa? Absolutely. Is he, has he been in your corner for the other three fights as well? Yep, absolutely. Every, every fight. Well, my last fight, no, because we both fought in that same card on that same That's day. That's so right. He, I, knew, I knew there was something weird. Okay, I couldn't remember what it was, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I had, uh, I believe, uh, uh, Sanji Hibero in my corner okay. uh, uh, for that fight, as well as Mark Beecher. Wow, what a great, what a great time. And I, and I can't say enough about... Every time I met him, he's been Lavado's been a true, you know, true gentleman. Like I said, I've known Beecher forever, so we, we've had drinks together. I've known him forever, but Lovato, Every time I met him, and been a true gentleman, like a, like a real, like what you think a jujitsu master should be. Like he already has that stature about him, that that look about him, that that kind of that kind of um, uh, higher higher power learning when you show up when you talk to him. Like he kind of gives that sense off about him. I've always I've never talked to anybody that's actually been with him for as long as you have that has seen his progression. From purple belt all the way through to where he is today, so it's 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 a great ride to hear that he is still such a a gentleman, even to his athletes. Still, you know. He's oh, not, absolutely! Yeah, it's great. So, let's let's talk about uh, Ramos real quick. Your opponent. What do you see when you watch tape on him? What do you see him as a fighter? What do you think he's going to try to do to you when you guys get inside that cage? Uh, from what I have seen, he is very well rounded. He's not afraid to stand in there and bang a little bit. He will work for takedowns. Uh, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm definitely having to be sharp there, working a lot on takedown defense as well as my own takedown offense. And he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. And, uh, you know, like I think uh, uh, when they sent me the match, they were like, you know, he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Does that matter to you at all? And I said, absolutely not. I'm a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, you know. But it, 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 it does speak for, you know, how well-rounded uh, he actually is. Uh, you know, I know he's been fighting uh, some Muay Thai fights as well. Mm -hmm. So I bet that his stand-up is improving. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited for the challenge. You know, like I just feel like uh, I'm, a, I'm a stronger fighter. I'm coming down a weight class uh, from what I have been fighting. So I feel like, you know, my weight cut is going great right now. I'm working very close with my strength and conditioning coach, uh, Luke Tyree, mm -hmm. and he's helping me get my weight down. Um, I'm walking around now about 12 pounds lighter than I have normally been. So making that cut, we feel is going to be the same. And, and I feel like I'm going to walk in there and be a little bit bigger and stronger. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I feel like my wrestling is a little stronger than his. And I really feel like that's going to be the X factor uh, at the end of the day is, you know, me putting him down on the ground, being on top. But I'm not overlooking him. I'm not underestimating him. I've got a lot of respect. He's got the experience. He's the veteran fighter here. You know, I'm coming in hungry. I'm coming in ready to go. I, I got to ask, you said you're coming down. I forgot that you're actually coming out of weight class. What, what, what are you walking around at right now? Right now, I'm now I'm finally walking around between 53 and 55. Okay. Uh, you know, most days waking up, whereas I had been walking around like at 68 
cut into 45. So, uh, and I'd make that cut over, you know, six, seven weeks uh, of a camp uh, uh, times period. So I'm, I'm walking around a much lower now. Uh, I've really fixed my diet, cleaned it up a lot. You know, again, working with, you know, uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Luke Tyree, he's been a real great big help uh, in that way. And, I, and I've cleaned up my diet a lot as well. I'm, I'm cooking more for myself now. It's, it's kind of been a new hobby of mine. Um, just eating super clean, as clean as I can. Uh, uh, you know, so, you know, like, uh, uh, just making all the right changes, doing all the right things and, uh, making sure that I'm where I need to be to have a good cut so that I'm not zapping my strength and uh, I walk in there strong. Well, thanks for coming out here with us, Justin. I really appreciate it. Um, have a great time. It's going to be fun to watch uh, this fight up on, uh, on access TV. Uh, on uh, uh, April 3rd. Thanks for coming on with MMA Oddsbreaker. Have fun against Ramos. We'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks for having me here.